Hello, founders. I often observe a like recurring it. argument among gamers that video cards with less than 16 gigs of VRAM will soon become obsolete. This viewpoint is particularly aimed at cards with 8 to 10 gigs of VRAM, with many advising against their purchase to avoid a lack of future proofing and redundancy in just a couple of years. However, with current PC games like Hellblade 2 recommending 8 gigs of VRAM for high settings 1440p, there appears to be little evidence supporting this claim. Moreover, with technologies such as DLSS, we're seeing more value from lower VRAM capacities than ever before. Hmm. Uh, NVIDIA hmm. in particular has demonstrated that it's not how much VRAM you have, but what you do with it that counts. What's your take on the longevity of these types of video cards? Uh, wow. Yeah, Alex, I, I'll go straight to you on this one, but Ooh. I'd say it's like, you know, that that's an interesting argument, but it could go both ways, really, can't it? It is a really big both ways thing. Um, I just, just want to say historically, like, I did not like the 3070 launching with 8 gigs. I was also not happy with the 4060 launching with 8 gigs. Um, I really think them going back from 12 on the 3060 to 8 on the... 4060 is a mistake. Uh, and it's mainly because I don't, as bad as it sounds, I don't trust developers to do good enough PC ports to allow for great experiences on cards with eight gigabytes always. That doesn't mean you're going to get a bad experience if you have an eight gigabyte card, but it's not guaranteed. And it's nice to have your hardware a guarantee good experiences in spite of what the developers do as much as possible, I feel, just as a PC gamer. So you're vo you're avoiding the headache of having to refund a game or play it in a subpar way, even though you spent, you know, like you gave out more than 300 USD for your GPU, perhaps. Uh, so I feel like that's what it's, that's why I'm always a little bit, uh, that I wasn't happy about eight gigabytes back then and with the 4060 as well too. Um, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't expect better and I think that's the point when we get to titles like T. Lu Part 1, where I just said, this is completely unsatisfactory for an 8 gigabyte GPU. This this should be way better. Uh, and I say it, and the review comes out, uh, and I did the same with, um, uh, oh my gosh, Forspoken, Sporefoken. And uh, you should do that every single time that happens, uh, because there are obviously 8 gigabytes of memory should at least yield results that are visually pleasing based upon the settings that are allowed in a game. And a point that I think a lot of people that are saying only 16 gigabytes are valid, uh, I think that's just a bit, um, how do you say it, like unrealistic from the expectation of like that games should have settings that are tunable. We should expect tunable settings in a PC game. It shouldn't just be everything. There's only one setting. It's very high. We should really expect that there's a gradation of settings or a good automatic setting. Like we see an avatar, for example, for texture quality that gives you a quality experience. If you go, if you go down the notch a little bit, or if your card doesn't have enough VRAM. And that's not a, once again, that's all stuff. That's not a guarantee. So I think you should expect more in general from PC ports, but it is much better from the consumer's perspective to expect the worst because PC is a platform that developers just do not care nearly enough about at times. And so you should just prepare with that with your hardware purchase to a certain degree. That's why I recommend, you know, certain CPUs in the past, why I would recommend a minimum of 16 gigabytes of system memory. Um, these are all things that happened. There was a time when uh, you could have still bought like a dual core CPU, yeah. but you really should have gone higher. These these things all happen transitionally over time. And I think eight gigabytes is right on the cusp of viability at the moment due to the pressures of game development. And reasonably, you should expect much better, but you should just prepare for it. Okay, with that being said, uh, I do think there will be issues in the future with scaling on eight gigabytes on certain GPUs. We've already seen it. Rich has talked about in a couple of videos where you've recently saw it, right? With the 4060, all these comparisons to uh, the PS5. Didn't you recently see yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, The Last of Us was the classic example where you just lost a huge chunk of performance compared to the 3060, even though it's actually the faster card because, you know, it's shuttling data in and out of PCIe buses. Uh, to run mm -hmm. the higher quality textures. My take on this is really, really straightforward. Um, first of all, uh, 
I think, you know, if you're a mainstream PC user, you'd kind of want to have parity with what the consoles are doing. And typically, you know, you a console game will have like maybe 10 gigs of memory for graphics and a couple of gigs for, you know, the game. Um, it can be a lot more efficient, but you, you, you've got to kind of double up on memory in the PC space because of the split pools that you've got there. I think you do need 16 gigs of memory minimum now uh, for system and for graphics. Well, you know, I'd be looking at 12 gigs just to, you know, to make things comfortable without having to worry about, you know, moving things down to medium, which can look poor, can look decent, depending. Yes. Um, the Hellblade thing, I mean, and Alex has already explained that Unreal Engine is uh, particularly great at memory management, which is awesome, but not every game is. Secondly, um, I do think that, you know, a lot of people do like to have, um, you know, they, regardless of what we say about optimized settings, they do like to whack things up to ultra. And I think the argument for ultra settings is that you want to have games that still look great and actually take advantage of the hardware of tomorrow. And, you know, ultra setting textures, you know, maybe it would require a 16 gig GPU. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. You want games to scale up as well as down, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's yeah. Yeah, that's the bottom line. I mean, in my rig here, over here, I went with 64 uh, megabytes of RAM and I got I went for the 12 <laughs> megabyte Voodoo 2 rather than the 8. And I figured that 8 was not quite enough. Yeah, in the future, just future proofing you, that, John. Yeah, yes. you could at least run Unreal. So exactly, exactly. That, that's the yeah. point. You know exactly.